another Premiere Pro editing tutorial by Aminal Islam. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you TIAC how to make a simple, but interesting, photo slideshow. In a few simple steps you can make your still a lot least boring to watch just follow the steps in this tutorial and you should be able to create similar slideshow like the one that you're watching now and for this tutorial I'm using the beautiful images from Innovato Elements OK. I hope you're ready I let's now head over to Premiere Pro and start some editing inside Premiere Pro we're going to start by creating a sequence. Here in the project Palin, click on the new icon and then select sequence. For this demo, I'll use a 1080p 30fps sequence and we'll rename this one to slideshow and then click OK. The next step is important the files into Premiere Pro. I have already selected a couple of images here inside this folder. I will just select a few of them and drag them over to the timeline inside Premiere. When I zoom in on the timeline, you see in AC that every image gets a 5 second duration. That's because that is the default duration FO ran image on the timeline inside Premiere Pro. If you want to change this window, you could change the default duration for image if you'd like to but for now. I'll next we're going to look at taste size of the images. First of all, I would always recommend you to use image with the same size or dimensions. But of course, that's not what I've got here that's why we need to do the following steps first. We need to select all the image, then right click and select a frame size. This will resize all the images so they will fit in the frame. But the image do not have a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So now we do have some black bars here on the side. To fix this we need to increase ceiling inside the effect control panel until the image files the entire frame and this needs to become on every photo on the timeline. So if you have a slideshow with 100 photos, and it's in the next step. We're going to duplicate all the images. We're going to select them all on the timeline. Hold the Alt key and drag the mouse button and then drag them up to the track above and then I'm going to disable this copy layer 4 by using the toggle switch here. For the next step, we need to deselect the images. Only select first one on the first layer. Then we're going to head over the effect panel and we're going to reach rage for the Gaussian blur effect. You will find this one under video effect. Blur and sharpen. I'm going to apply this one to the first image on the first layer of the timeline and then need over to the effects control panel and increase blurriness to 400. To get rid of the dark edges on the outside of the frame we need to select repeat edge pixels. Depending on the photos you're using you might need to increase or decrease the blurriness. Anyway, it should look something like this. And select this effect and copy it by hitting CTL plus C and then select all the other image on the first track off the timeline and HTI control plus V to paste it. Now you can see that this gradient blurriness is applied to all the other image as well. Now we can turn on the second layer again by clicking on the visibility icon here. Then I will select the first image on the second track of the timeline and head over to the effect control panel. In here we're going to enable keyframe for scaling and then scale the images down until the top and bottom files about 90% of the frame. This will be our last keyframe we need another one. So let go a few frames back and then layer the scaling again and with these two keyframe. We've now created a simple zoom animation. Let's make this animation go a bit more smoother by right click on the first keyframe and then select ease out and we'll select the second keyframe select ease in. IW also moved them to the beginning in the end of the timeline and as you can see, now the foreground images zoom in very smoothly and that is also what we want for the other images. So we're going to copy the motion solution by hitting Ctrl plus C and then select all the author image on the second track of the timeline. You can see same smooth animation on every photo. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did then please like the video or leave a content below like always.